right? All right, yes. Greetings and happy Friday. We're uh, having a little glass of wine here, but wanted to, <laughs> to do a little video. I wasn't planning on having him actually in this video. Okay, come here, go on. Go on, go on now. Listen, if you got a new dog, if you got a new puppy or a new dog, get a crate. When you can't keep one eye on the dog and one eye on whatever else you're doing, put the puppy or the dog in the crate. Even if it's an older dog, you don't know the dog yet, so put the dog in the crate when you can't keep one eye on him and one eye on whatever else you're doing. Or put him outside if you have a kennel run or an enclosure of some sort where he can't get into trouble. Here's why. When I was a young dog trainer, I had my first dog training company back in Los Angeles. I had a doctor call me and said, you gotta come out to the house. I'm having this problem with my one-year-old golden retriever. So I get out to the house, she says, I got this dog as a puppy. Every time I go to work, I put the, the puppy in the kitchen because I didn't want to put him in the crate. Because I thought the crate was cruel. I thought that confining him to that little tiny crate, he didn't have enough room to move around in. I'm thinking, man, it's a puppy. He's sleeping 90% of the time anyways. You know, have a neighbor come by, uh, pay a, a dog walker to come in, let him out to potty a couple times a day. You can afford this. You're a woman of means, do it. So she didn't take my advice. Now the dog's a year of age. I come to the house, walk into the kitchen, literally everything from my nipples down has been chewed off. All the wood, all the plastic, all the baseboard, everything, all the way around the kitchen. And it was a big kitchen too. And I'm looking at this woman thinking to myself, you know, wouldn't it have been better to have confined the dog in a crate than to number one, have the dog do about $20,000 of damage to your kitchen. And number two, risk the dog's health. You know, the dog can eat a piece of wood, get a splinter on his tongue, eat a piece of plastic, have an obstruction and die by the time you get home. So wouldn't it be better to just confine the dog until the dog's old enough to handle the responsibility and can then be left alone in the house responsibly? You know, it's like if you had a 12 year old kid, you wouldn't leave him in the house alone and go to Vegas for the weekend because you know that while you're away, he's gonna have a party and he's gonna burn your house down. It's the same thing with the dog. The dog's gonna burn your house down. So get a crate, use the crate, stop being a schmuck, do it intelligently. And you know, you're gonna have a great dog, but you gotta follow the rules. You gotta use a little bit of common sense. You gotta keep the dog from hurting himself. So get a kennel crate, use the kennel crate. That's my advice. Have a great weekend, guys.